folks, here we are in the shadow of the arch at St. Louis, Missouri, downtown with head distiller and owner of Steel 630, Dave Weglarch. Welcome, Dave. Thank you very much for having me. How did you get started in the spirits industry? Uh, I've had a very straightforward path. You know, I was an English major in college, so I drank a lot, uh, which I like to call research. Then I was a whitewater rafting guide down in North Carolina for a year. Took the next logical step, moved to Chicago, became a futures trader, trading stocks, commodities, bonds, all that nonsense. I did that for about eight years and got really burnt out. And I always wanted to be my own boss, own my own company, and make something. And I saw everybody else getting into craft beer, so I thought it'd be a great time to get into craft spirits. And I looked into it, I saw it was a growing industry, and I thought, what an incredible thing to do with your life. So I started reading everything I could, talking to everybody I could, and uh, founded my own company. And fast forward about eight years, and uh, we're still a company. We've played around with a few different varieties, but what we come back to and what the bulk of ours are, are the uh, number three char, classic American oak barrels that you guys make. They're always, they're always watertight. You know, I go and I test them and swallow them and everything, but they're always good to go. They put on a real nice flavor. We use a lot of number four char varietals in the beginning, because um, we were doing a little bit younger stuff, but we're trying to increase the age on it. And uh, they, they work really well. I've got some Cooper's Reserve barrels back there. Um, they just haven't had enough time to really shine yet. They're still, they're still young in there. So I've got really high hopes for those. And if you ask me that same question in a couple years, that might be my new answer. What's your favorite cocktail these days, Dave? Uh, I'm not good at mixing stuff, so I like, I like to drink a lot of things straight so I can get the flavor of the spirit. But if I had to go for a cocktail in there, uh, I like a little whiskey smash. Uh, I'm doing, you know, old fashioned with the rye whiskeys. They're always good. So you're eight years into this. Uh, what's the most significant change that you've seen in that in that eight years that you've been involved in the spirits industry? Man, uh, clearly it's the amount of entrance into the category. You know, when uh, I was first in here, I think we were the fourth distillery in Missouri. Could be wrong, but that's my understanding. Um, and now we've got over 39 in uh, in the state of Missouri alone, and there's over 15, 1600 nationwide. So the growth in it, but. Uh, What's, what's been really exciting, and I like to think that we've played a part in this, is, is the growth and expansion of all the non-traditional categories, right? I mean, with our brewery collaboration series, we put out some weird, wild stuff. But you get a lot of the finishes in there that I think are just growing by leaps and bounds. Everybody's got a double barrel this, a maple finished vat, a uh, port wine cast, sherry cast. That wasn't around a few years ago. What do you like most about being the owner and, and distiller at, at Still 630? What's your favorite part of this? It's also my equally like hated part is that I'm in charge and I get to make the decisions. And I also have to make the decisions. And it all comes down to me and the success or failure is based on what I decide. But really, what I love about it is that, is that this Still 630 is David Weglar's in a nutshell. I've got some fantastic people that have bought in and come along on this ride. So it's not me that are making the stuff only, because Andrew, Brandon, and Sydney all have say in it all. But we're putting out very unique stuff that has my own physical stamp on it. We're not trying to out Jim Beam. We're trying to be still 630 to be special and different and uniquely awesome in our own right. And to get to kind of blaze a trail and do so many neat stuff with the Missouri Craft Distillers Guild, creating Missouri bourbon whiskey, we made a law that didn't exist before. We made legislation happen. We created the state distillery trail for the state of Missouri that didn't exist before. So being on the forefront of this industry and help put my little fingerprints on it and kind of nurture it and, and hopefully make some positive contributions is awesome. If this weren't your job or your your livelihood, what what would what would you be doing? Uh, I've done a lot of other things in life, and I don't want to go back to hardly any of them, except maybe raft guide. I'd like to go down and be a whitewater rafting guide every day. My real other longtime goal is I want to be an author. I want to write books, both fiction and historical nonfiction. All right, David, we appreciate your time. Thanks again for being a partner uh, with Independent Stave Company, and we appreciate you guys. Uh, each and every day. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. We're going to keep needing it. All right. Thank you.